Hey everyone, I'm Mindy from Cute Girls Hairstyles. Today we are at the Lake House and I am going to show you guys like kind of the behind the scenes on designing and decorating the patio and then the big reveal at the end. And thank you to Castlery for sponsoring this video. So first let me show you the naked patio as we have it right now. So over here, there's kind of a built-in grill. We can, you can see we've already started collecting a few little water toys. There's just a giant space. This is one of the big selling points to this house for me. I love a good outdoor space. I love that it bleeds into just the yard full of trees and all of the dock and the boats and everything like that. One of the big things for me was figuring out how we would use the space. Um, we have rented lake houses a couple times and every time we do, we end up playing games a ton outside. We eat outside, we lounge outside. So I really wanted to make sure we left space for all of that. But over here we decided that this would be the perfect area for like eating. And I asked specifically for a round table to make it a little easier to walk around and also better for game playing. So we can just like, you know, play cards. Then over here in the middle, there's this giant space. So I wanted a huge area to sit and with lots of seating and just stare and like, you know, enjoy the view. So we're actually getting two sectionals, not just one, and we're gonna kind of put them together in a beautiful rug with some coffee tables and have this really great loungy area. We had a little bit of a tricky thing because we have two doors, so there's not like a huge area. And so we decided to just do a couple little seats off to the side and a cute little fire pit. So we have like your main seating area and then kind of like a side seating area. And maybe one of my favorite spots is down the steps. I think it would be so fun to have a whole other table and chairs. It is a little more sunny because it's not under the house overhang. So we're gonna get an umbrella for the table. This will be a great area to play games again if we want. But I think particularly for large groups, this would be a great place to eat outdoors, send the little kids if they're wet or if you don't want them dragging, you know, lake into the house every day, this is where we'll spend a ton of time. So here's the patio layout. You can see we're gonna do the round table by the built-in barbecue, it has six chairs, the L-shaped sectionals with the two coffee table, or coffee tables, yeah. The seating area down here, as well as the little like loungy area with the fire pit. So let me show you one of the design boards for the back patio. This is the sectional. This is just one of the two. So we'll have two of these and the coffee tables, which is gonna be this beautiful, massive sitting area. This piece is coming from a company called Castlery. So Castlery is a furniture company that makes pieces for every room in your house, which is so great. But what I liked the most about them when I started doing the research was that they are made with high quality materials and that they are built to last. So when I was looking, especially for outside, that made sense for my patio. When we got to the back, we could not decide between these two different tables. So one of the things that I loved the most about Castlery is that they offer like a 14 day return policy and a great warranty coverage. So I can actually bring the piece here, decide if I like it in the space, and if not, I can swap it out. We're gonna try this one first, option two. Guess what has arrived? The patio furniture! So you guys know that we've been working on getting the fishbowl, which is our lake house name, uh, ready to go. And today I'm gonna show you the final reveal on the patio. We've been kind of like filming as we've gone, but today is the actual reveal. It's all done, it looks chef's kiss. It looks so good. First thing you're gonna see when you come up, you're coming from the lake side. You're gonna see our little turtle, Donatello. Um, it's a nod to the fact that we have turtles under the dock all the time. You guys know I love Castlery. We found this Sierra outdoor dining set. It came with six chairs. It looks so good in this spot. Got morning shade and afternoon shade, but midday, it's pretty sunny. And so I love that we found the shade outdoor umbrella. It comes with a base so it all connects. You can see what a big difference that umbrella is making. And of course, you know, we can roll it down when we need to looks great. So one of my main things when I looked for a lake house was I kept telling Sean, I want a big patio. Like I knew that it would be like indoor outdoor living and we would spend a ton of time outside. So it was really important to me to get a big patio. So this is like maybe my one of my favorite features of the house. So we're big um, game players. We love to play games, especially when we're at the lake house. So I really wanted a circular shaped table 
We found these really funky, kind of modern looking chairs that I really liked. And so we put them out to create this like game space. We just have to move that centerpiece and we're ready to play games. Over here, you can obviously see the barbecue section. This is mostly Dakota and Sean's area. And of course we have water and worms for fishing in our fridge, just the sink area, the area to prep stuff. And down underneath, we store our sunscreens and cleaning supplies and all that kind of stuff. I mean, obviously we have to have an outdoor trash can, but I tried to find one that was at least pretty and kind of hidden. I love bringing indoor like house plants outdoors to try to draw the green and the trees and nature over. Obviously they're not real. They just add a touch of like nature to the porch too, make it a little softer. So this might be my favorite second of all. It's such a big space. We went to Castlery again and we bought the Sierra Outdoor, it's kind of the L-shaped sectional. We bought two of them. So if you look, there's one here and then we actually like mirrored it and put one here. So you can see that we have two Sierra outdoor coffee tables too, and it goes with the couches. So basically we've just created like an extra, extra, extra large outdoor seating area. I loved the woven look to it. I thought this was like kind of really fun and elevated and like the iron kind of bars on the sides and on the back that kind of just made it feel elevated. I also really liked that it's not super heavy. It's pretty lightweight, so if we need to move things around, we can, and we can like, you know, rearrange the space as needed because you can see it's kind of chunked into sections, which makes it a little more modular. So we get to just repurpose like 8 million different ways. And then I have noticed already, just from it being here for the last couple months, dog paws. So our dogs often run up, plant their dirty paws. And so far it's wiped off like, it's been amazing. So the fabric's really great. It's a good outdoor quality and it's certainly easy to clean out even though it's like a lighter color. I loved that uh, when I was working with Castlery that they're really affordable. I like that they had flat rate shipping and they even sent swatches ahead of time for free. So I could make sure like everything was gonna be coordinated and exactly what I wanted when I was done. I elevated the entire space by throwing on loads of pillows. I think pillows are always a great add to make things look cozy and pull in the colors you're looking for, as well as just elements of nature with some kind of driftwood candle and glass. And it's hilarious because the candle's already melting. It's so freaking hot in Texas this year. And just, you know, pulling in the greens, even the stones, like we're just kind of bringing nature up onto the patio. This is a great outdoor rug because I knew it was going to get a lot of sun and wear and tear. It turned out so good. But truly, I'm not joking. Like you should see when the family's all here, we are all lounged out in this space, in our swimsuits, in our towels, eating. It's a really beautiful communal area. It's exactly what I wanted. These fans save us on the hot summer days because they move the air enough that when you're wet, it stays pretty comfortable. We kind of created like the fire pit area. These seats are really comfortable. They swivel back and forth. So if you want to participate in the condo over there, you can. This right here is the fire pit itself. So we can turn that on if we just want like, you know, a nice little like ambiance. One other feature of the backyard that we loved and fell in love with, even though it's not quite done because I, I think I want to restyle it eventually, is the outdoor showers. We use this a lot and when, when we're hot, we just kind of cool back off by flipping this on. Of course, we already have Heritage products sitting out here ready for people to use, which I love. This is great for the dogs too, to rinse the dogs when they're coming in and out of the house. Eventually, I think we might tear that down and tie a little cute and do some fun things or maybe even put a cold bath in. Wouldn't that be nice on a hot summer day? That's it. I hope you enjoyed the patio tour. I'm really excited about many, many years of loving this space and continuing to just enjoy it and have family around us. Thank you to Castlery for sponsoring this video. And if you guys want to check out all the links for everything, I'll put them in the description box below so that you can shop all the pieces I picked. If you want to check out other videos about the lake house, you can click over here. And we'll see you guys later. Bye, y'all.